Uh, hi, welcome back uh, to rockmykick.com. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to build a... Uh, I'm going to have a tutorial on how to build a 8-inch um, circle uh, print, uh, frosting print for your cake. Uh, now we're going to use um, GIMP and uh, if you don't have GIMP, download it from the GIMP.com or you can go to Google and type in GIMP uh, and download it and also um, for people that already have GIMP installed, let's get started and go to GIMP. I have the version of, uh, I have GIMP 2.6. So um, we're going to get started by um, creating a basic document uh, with the dimensions of uh, 11 by 8.5, which are the basic uh, dimensions of a 4-8 um, paper, or they call it a regular printing paper. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start creating our new document uh, for people. Uh, we don't need really need the presettings here. So for people that haven't watched uh, uh, our previous, vi previous video, you can go ahead and watch that online. Um, go to rockmycake.com and watch uh, the video for the quarter sheet and or the circles and this is uh, uh for the eight inch circles okay uh so let's continue on we're gonna print this um um landscape Lam landscape is fine and we're gonna click okay uh once we have this uh we need to set our margins our margins are a little bit different than the quarter sheet uh but uh we're gonna go ahead and drag this down to uh half an inch here and, and another half an inch here uh, now I'm going to the left and I'm going to go ahead and grab one inch and a half. So this is going to be one inch and a half here. So, and the same for the other one, one inch and a half, one inch and a half. So in the middle here, we're going to draw our circle with the circle tool, um, marquee tool, and we're going to click, um, we're going to start here from the corner. We're going to click and we're going to drag it down. Now that we see that our, our circle is being made, we're going to hit uh, shift and this is going to correct the circle and make a perfect circle. So we're going to go ahead and stop between our, our top and bottom margin and uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and drag this to the middle where I think it's going to be perfect. Um, so uh, it's pretty much in the middle and uh, I'm going to fill it with some color and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the layers um, uh, panel here and create a, a new um, layer and call it color or border and do OK um, and I'm going to fill it with some color and I'm going to choose uh, the bucket fill tool, choose a color choose a fun color and fill it so now we have our circle here this is going to help us uh, to put uh, and guide us uh, to put our um, image on top now uh, this is basically the template uh, we've already made the template but let's uh, make it fun and put a picture on 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 our template and some text so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deselect the circle now and open up a new file which is good which is the one that contains our picture I'm gonna go ahead and look for the funny guys here's the funny guys and you see that this is 16 um, hundred by 1200 and this image is going to be on our taskbar um, so we're gonna go ahead and resize this image to a 11 by 7 uh, 11 by 8.5 so remember to have this lock on so you get the right proportions so we're gonna go ahead and change this from pixels to inches and we're gonna go 11 by 8.5 and we're gonna leave it at cubic so that's fine and now it's resized we're gonna go ahead and click the Eclipse selecting tool and draw a circle where we want the circle to be and that's fine now hit 
shift key and that makes it a perfect circle so uh, we can go ahead and, and, and drag the circle wherever we want uh, we're gonna want it there that's fine uh, oops oopsie I'm sorry uh, we're gonna drag it in to the top oh nope nope no can do um, we can use our arrow key oh no I'm sorry no, now uh, we're gonna let's draw another circle let's draw the circle hit shift and let it go so that's our our circle for now and we're gonna go ahead and copy this select I mean I mean go to edit and then copy go back to the template and paste it edit paste now we have our uh, circle uh, centered already for us and uh, that's perfect uh, and we're gonna go to our layers uh, box and just add this new layer there and we have added our new layer uh, we can move this around if if you're not happy where where's where it's sitting at you can just move it around and we're gonna go ahead and center ourselves ourselves with the arrow keys so now it's pretty centered for us and let's add some text uh, let's click on the text tool um, choose our font our size let's put it on 26 click it and say happy birthday and close it so now we have our happy birthday sign we can make it a little bit bigger if you want to and uh, we can separate the letters if we want to a little too um, go ahead and this one and and let's grab the moving tool and we can drag this around the picture so let's just leave it here and we have our image to print it just go print and select your printer go to the preferences and select landscape or portrait if you're printing a portrait picture but in this case it's a landscape the type of paper that you're using you're gonna choose a uh, glossy photo paper and you're gonna use high quality or standard whichever you want uh, standard will be just fine and click OK and you have completed your 8 inch circle um, check us out on the web at rockmycake.com uh, where you can get some more cake ideas and you can also get uh, some more tutorials on the two inch uh, cookie circles um, and also for the chocolate and the marshmallow and the quarter sheet so until next time um, thank you uh, take care and remember uh, to remember to check us out online at rockmycake.com